Well, season's greetings, everyone, and uh, welcome back here to Metarog's channel and a comic contest roundup and an unboxing. And the reason for this is that there's only one new contest this week. Of course, with the holidays, things will slow down a little bit. So I'm just going to focus on that one. Um, and then I'm going to just sort of go a, 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 an overall um, sense, go over the other contests. And then I'm going to show you an unboxing of a package I received from Collecting Chaos and a little deal that we made to finish off the regular ones of my, the regular uh, Atlas Seaboard comics. But before that, let's get into the roundup. And uh, the, the one main contest that dropped yesterday, and he had let me know on Instagram, although I already had him queued up, and that's Comic Man Andy. He's having a mystery box giveaway. It kind of dropped yesterday, December 22nd. You have to be 18 and above. He will ship worldwide. He made that very clear. No matter where you're at, he'll ship it to you. And he does want you to sub to his, his channel, which everybody should anyway. And leave a comment um, on there, either with a 2020 collecting success or a great karma story. He just wants to keep it positive, you know. Uh, the, the, the season is uh, such that uh, we're going to try to uplist uplift people's spirits give hope uh, it's been a very challenging year in many regards to many people and so I applaud the positivity of this contest for sure and he's giving away three mystery boxes uh, including some 9-8 uh, slabs and uh, trade paperbacks and a bunch of comics you know you're you're gonna you're gonna like what he's gonna send you for sure and again, this will end on January 11th. Then again, this will end January 11th uh, when he goes to a live stream and gives away the goodies. So thank you, Andy, for that really great and um, positive giveaway. And then um, I'm just going to say that n none of the other contests have have gotten to their goals yet, but some are very close, like a Super Power Review and DJ Links, very close to you know getting uh, meeting their goals. Uh, I think uh, Karate Kevin's at 1.78 1800 he has a giveaway and DJ Link's at 493 at 500 he has a giveaway so they'll probably have it in a few days but again all the links to all these contests are below so please do check them out because these are community members that um, you know are giving of themselves their time and their comics or or whatnot uh, to celebrate with us and that's something we should applaud especially at this time of year so that is the part for the roundup, less than three minutes. And that's a new record. <laughs> so what happened here is that um, I, I did a video where I um, showed my uh, Atlas comics, Atlas Seaboard comics, and that I was missing quite a few of them. And, you know, I had a fairly complete set before. And I was having, you know, some troubles uh, getting them. I, I got some from uh, Raymond, this Highlander man. And I really wanted to complete this set because it is one that is, it's just one of those quirky kind of Bronze Age series uh, or, or publishers that I really love. So I do have Vicky uh, 1 and 2. I am missing 3 and 4. And those are the ones I'll be missing uh, even after I uh, unbox this. Um, but those will, I'm sure, will come in the fullness of time. But I wanted to show you what James or Collecting Chaos sent me. He sent me this big box right here. Okay. And I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to show you, boy, that this is really properly packaged, right? First of all, he put not only my address on the inside, but he also put it on a piece of paper in there just in case something happened. Uh, you know, got ripped off or got obscured outside, they could open it and still know who it was sent to. So I appreciate that little extra kind of precaution. Of course, he has paper all, and not only on top and the bottom, but all around, as you can see. And then he has the big brick here um, of, as you can see, bubble wrapped. And it looks like more cardboard in there. Again, this is pretty much bomb proof. So I'm going to use a couple tools to unbox this. My uh, straight edge and my scissor. Uh, hopefully that will do it, right? So I'm going to do this a little bit off camera because I'm kind of a cramped space here. Again, you have to be very careful when you're cutting 
that you don't cut into the actual comic, but again, I don't have to worry about the first layer because not only is this first layer bubble wrapped, there's also a second layer of bubble wrap underneath, as you can see. So again, James, you just went, you know, above and beyond. I mean, if, uh, if everybody packed this way, there would be never any problems uh, uh, getting comics in good condition. Now, I'm not a big condition collector, as I told James. I just really wanted a complete set and, you know, com uh, that the comic themselves were um, a complete, in other words, you know, they weren't missing chunks or pieces or anything like that. So that is, this is the exterior. And this is the interior wrap, which is, again, a bubble wrap. And then he has these little pull tabs here. As you can see, very, very nice. And that wrap comes all the way out and around. And that pulls the first layer off of the bubble wrap. So, again, very well done. Again, uh, very easy to unwrap here, but very well protected. So that's the second layer of bubble wrap. And beyond that, he has it shrink wrapped, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to use the scissor for this. So I have a protective edge here. And cutting in here. And he has it shrink wrapped almost all the way around, but enough so you can get an edge in there, which I appreciate. And then you can sort of pull it out. And there's the cardboard with the shrink wrap. And he puts in there, thanks. You're welcome, James. Thank you for, again, for giving me this very good deal. Now, this is a little brick here that's also shrink-wrapped here. And let me see how I can best get into this. Okay, it's actually two layers, so you can actually, actually probably put the straight edge right in between there very gently. Get a, get a little bit of an edge. Out, and then you can put the scissor in there and cut through. Again, this is very professional, um, but still not difficult to undo. Okay, so I appreciate that. So there are the comics themselves. As you can see, they're actually in two packages. All right, let's open them up and see what I got. And again, this will this will finish up my regular sets of Atlas Seaboard, which I will go through probably in a couple of months once I finish the um vickies all right so here's wolf the barbarian number two by the way these are really nice condition uh for me especially you got tiger man number three great color strike on that tiger man number two and of course tiger man number one i didn't have any of the tiger mans and those are nice james i have to admit those are nice you um i told you you didn't have to send me the highest quality ones but boy these are really good Tales of Evil number two. Uh, this is a series which is a little tough to find. Sergeant Striker's Death Squad number one and number three. Again, these have got like no spine ticks. And uh, Police Action number one. Just a few little faint spine ticks. So really nice uh, high, high condition uh, set there. Uh, uh, really, really nice. I'm really excited about this. Um, finishing this up has been a goal of mine for quite a while now since I lost these way back when. Uh, here's one of my very favorites. Rich Buckler did this character here, Demon Hunter. And that is a number one. Also very well done. Very nice. Just a few little fun ticks on there. And uh, another series that I enjoyed, The Grim Ghost. Sort of the Devil's Reaper here. Uh, done it back in the... Uh, he was a, a highwayman, I believe, back in the day. And that is one, two, and three. Iron Jaw, number one, and number three. Again, really nice condition. And finally, Phoenix, number four. These last issues that went to number four are sometimes, are sometimes a bit difficult to pick up. Uh, I think there was a lower uh, distribution there. And uh, that's it. That is my um, deal with uh, Collecting Chaos. Again, I will leave a link below to his channel. He's got a great collection. He's great at restoring stuff. Very good perspectives. That he has this top-down camera. You get to see all the nitty-gritty stuff on the comic, et cetera, et cetera. So please do give him uh, a sub there and check him out. It will be definitely worth your time. Okay, everybody, I'm out of here. This will be the last video for this year. I will see you in January with the Roundup. 
and of course I'll be in the No Faces chat as well on Bub's Comics and of course Grader's Notes and all those other shows I'm a part of which I've been very blessed with these past few years of being a part of and I just wanted to wish all of you a happy and safe holiday season. Please be kind to each other. Please be patient. There's a lot of uh, stress uh, out there right now, but uh, we will get through this. We are a, a very resilient people. And uh, no matter what uh, faces us, I think that somehow, some way, uh, God will see us through this. So God bless each and every one of you. Know that I love you, that I pray for you guys um, every single day. Uh, because I think that uh, there's no such thing as a coincidence here. We are all here for some kind, of, for a reason, one way or another. And I truly believe that from the bottom of my heart. Take care of yourselves. See you next year. Be blessed and be back.